Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled at the edge of a dense forest, there lived a little girl named Ruby. She was known far and wide for her bright red hood, which she wore everywhere she went. Ruby was a kind and adventurous girl, always ready for a new adventure. One sunny morning, Ruby's mother called out to her, Ruby, my dear, would you take this basket of goodies to your grandmother? She's not feeling well, and these treats will surely cheer her up. Ruby was thrilled at the idea of visiting her grandmother. She eagerly put on her red hood and skipped through the forest, humming a joyful tune. Little did she know that a mischievous wolf was watching her from behind the trees. As Ruby ventured deeper into the forest, the cunning wolf decided to take a shortcut to her grandmother's cottage. He had a plan to get to Ruby's grandmother first and disguise himself as her. Meanwhile, Ruby continued on her path, enjoying the beauty of the woods. She picked colorful flowers and talked to the birds and butterflies along the way. She was completely unaware of the wolf's plan. When Ruby reached her grandmother's cozy cottage, she knocked gently on the door. Grandma, it's me, Ruby. I've brought you some treats, she called. The wolf, now disguised as grandma, replied with a sly voice. Come in, my dear. Ruby entered the cottage and was surprised to see her grandmother tucked tightly in bed, with the covers pulled up to her chin. Grandma, what big eyes you have, Ruby exclaimed, noticing the strange glint in her grandmother's eyes. The better to see you with, my dear, the wolf replied trying to sound like grandma. Ruby then noticed the wolf's big ears and sharp teeth. And grandma, what big ears you have. The better to hear you with, my dear, the wolf replied, trying to keep up the act. Finally, Ruby realized something was amiss. And grandma, what big teeth you have. The wolf could no longer contain his disguise. With a menacing growl, he leapt out of the bed, revealing his true self. Ruby screamed and quickly ran out of the cottage, leaving behind the basket of goodies. She raced through the forest, the wolf hot on her heels. But just when it seemed like all hope was lost, a brave prince riding a white horse appeared. The prince saw Ruby in danger and swiftly drew his sword. With one swift motion, he scared away the wolf, who disappeared into the depths of the forest. Ruby and the prince were safe. Ruby thanked the prince for his bravery, and he smiled warmly. I couldn't let anything happen to a little girl, as brave as you, he said. Together, they returned to Ruby's grandmother's cottage, where they found grandma safe and sound. They all enjoyed the treats Ruby had brought, and from that day forward, Ruby and the prince became the best of friends. They had many more adventures together, but none were as exciting as the day they outsmarted the cunning wolf. And so, Little Red Hood and the brave prince lived happily ever after, proving that courage.